Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV here in the San Frutuso range in Italy. I'm here with my friend Ricardo. You guys have seen him before in some TFB TV videos in the past. We've been friends for a few years and yeah. we kind of had a little discussion with the introduction of the Beretta BRX1. We said, hey, why don't we do a video about bolt action versus straight pull to see which one's better. We've got here, what do we have? This is your personal rifle. This it's is very nice. One of my personal rifles. I mean, so which one's better? So I, I have to be political here because, mm. you know, I can get... <laughs> bolt action rifles are very good. And in my opinion, for example, mm. this is a Sacco 85. This is Sacco actions, in my opinion, are the best in the market. I'm sure there's some actions that are even better than this one, but that, this is my personal taste. Mm. Why a bolt action and why a straight pull depends on what you're doing, depends on what you're looking. So I wouldn't say that one is better than the other one. It also depends on the guy behind using the gun. So, you know, hunting where I'm going to be shooting very far away or want to, you know, on a stand and I just want to, you know, use a bolt action rifle because I know I'm not going to be taking too many shots or whatever the reason is, or simply because I like this rifle, uh, I, I can take this one. This is a more rugged one. And as you can see, of course, nice wood everything mm. it's a different it's a different it's let's say it's really a different is. let's say tool both for this for for the same type of hunting but depend on how you're going to do it the straight pull rifle it's uh, this one is a synthetic one it's uh, much lighter than this one uh the rico i have to say because of the balance these both are 306 mm. so this rifle is a little bit more center balanced than this one the barrel profile is different so we're we're not comparing two exact rifles but who cares? I mean, at the end of the day, we're comparing one thirty six against another thirty six. And let's not be naive here, because yeah. right now, basically our hypothesis that we're going to operate under is we're going to be more successful shooting in rapid succession with the straight pull, because yeah. you're, everything is in line. You don't have to, you know, move the, the scope around, and, and it's going to be faster. It's going to be faster, yeah. Easier, yeah. It's right. going to be easier to, uh, to make a shot reload, reacquire the sights and make another shot after that one. So when it comes to time, it's, uh, this one is faster. If you are well trained with a bolt action, I think you can be as fast as in this one. But sure. not everybody gets to, you know, to go to the range and shoot 100 rounds of 308 every weekend. And Beretta's really excited about the BRX1, so this could look like a, a puff piece, like we're trying to, to pump up the BRX1. But I'm glad we have two different rifles because this one is much more expensive than that one. So we have a, a great example of a bolt action rifle. Bolt, yeah, probably this one, one of the best. In, in uh, the European market, what are we talking about price difference between the two? Oh, I, this probably costs double of what this one is. Right. It's so. worth, yeah. So if anything, this works against us, against our hypothesis that we've got, we have the more expensive one, you know, so against this the, is against, against the, the less expensive Beretta BR. Exactly. One. This is how Beretta interprets big game hunting for the average hunter in the world. So we decided just to go a little bit further and try to find something, and I think we did, that is as good as a bolt action. It give you a, something more in some cases, maybe something less in some other cases, but still a very, very interesting thing that you know any hunter would be okay to hunt with this rifle. Because at the end of the day, and you will see it when we go shoot, it's a, you will get out of the range, and I was the first one, I have to admit, I was a little bit skeptical when I, we, we were developing the rifle, because I'm a, such a fan of bolt action rifles that, you know, when I started trying the system, it's like, you know, it takes a while, but after you try, you're like, man, I mean, there's something really good about this rifle. I mean, besides the reloading, the recoil, you will know this is different. And uh, it's uh, one of those things that you say, why not? I can buy this rifle and use it perfectly, and I will enjoy it 100%. Ricardo, brag on yourself a little bit. I want you not only are you an engineer? I want you to explain to everybody that you're also a pretty damn good shooter, right? Uh, yeah, I spend uh, pretty much all my money <laughs> shooting, but, and, and I also work in a gun factory, so I can say, yes, I, I, had a, I have a dream job, and it, thanks to Beretta, you know, I love it. And you've so, won a few competitions as well, yeah? I, yeah, I've, I'm not like at the top level, but I, I consider myself a very decent shooter in everything. Even pistol, I can, I can shoot okay. Well, I'm excited to test our theory. Yeah. So let's go out, send frutoso. Let's go to the range, try these out. You're gonna send the pig out, yep. and then I'm supposed to shoot it five times between like these two hay bales here or, or what have you. Yeah, be before it disappears. Then you're gonna drop that magazine and start another one of five more rounds. Oh, when it comes back. Yeah, go drop it down. Okay, all right, this is gonna be tricky. 
This is my first time shooting this gun. There's a lot of pressure here. Come on. Ah, nice. This is going to be pathetic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten in the target. I mean, I'll take it. Guys, I mean, how was it? Okay. So let's try the bolt action. You guys aren't gonna believe this. This is my first time ever shooting a Sako. Really? Ever. That's a nice rifle as well. Yeah, oh God, it's beautiful. Rolling. Oh shit. Get the last round off i mean i felt like i was working it pretty well but it's like you can short stroke it uh, it's a lot easier to short stroke this thing especially if you've never shot it before i mean the brx1 is definitely faster i feel like the felt recoil is a little bit lower too makes the job easier yeah but this, i mean this is absolutely tricky it feels more badass though in, in the beginning of the last centuries, the Swiss has, had already discovered, you know, the straight pull concept, and they had the K31 on that, and it actually works when you're under pressure. Boom, two movements. It's much easier in under stress instead of four. Yeah. But I think if you get enough practice, you can get it almost at the same speed with this one. Barely got five off the first run, and then when the pig came back around, I mean, I, I, he went around. I, I was tempted to throw one through that. You know the barricade there <laughs> just why not you know yeah. to, don't want to look bad on camera but you know i was willing to do it so we had a little practice run with the bolt action for these three so i shot nine one two three four five six so i i had three that didn't even hit the paper oh, like you, okay yeah, yeah that, that was actually pretty pathetic um that brx one with the straight pull you really do you can keep your eyes down range a lot easier than this where you're moving around, your eyes bouncing in and out of the scope. So, um, pretty interesting. Ryan, you ready? All right, come on, warm up asshole. You didn't see me do that before my runs, did you? <laughs> Drop that one. Dude, that's what happens. I think you did well, man. You worked it. Yeah. He was going fast. Yeah, you, dude, you were going way too yeah, fast. Way too fast. That's, dude, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I knew I dropped the one. I had plenty of time. I could have slowed down and probably got a little closer to the 10 ring. Not good. You got them all off. That was impressive, man. Like you got. Yeah, all... not not good because what I've noticed is when you come up, your your scope digs to the left, and then when you come back down, it digs to the right. So it's definitely harder to stay on the scope and stay on the animal as you're working up and then back down. One, two, three, four, off the animal. Five, six, seven, 
Nope. Um, so yeah, so four on paper, <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five on target. BRX, uh, I threw one, and I knew when I threw it. Um, the Saco, I threw one again off, but as you could see, I was, I was definitely rushing. Um, because it does take a little more time. I was rushing my shot, so. I think that the Saco trigger allows you to make more accurate shots. Because That's, of it's the quality a better of the gun and everything. So if you train, you might be a little bit more accurate. While with the BRX, you're much faster and you have more time to make a good trigger pull. So. God, so everybody gets plenty of time yeah. with the straight pull. Like everyone. But when, it's, when you're in competition, under time, and your heart is pumping, it's like you want to rush. You want to go. You but you have go. enough time to load fast, wait, bang, and make a good shot. Yeah. We'll see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. That's two. Yeah, that's two. That's definitely that's two. two. Ten. Ten. Damn. Good. <laughs> good I've shooting. been shooting a while. Yeah. Bolt action versus BRX1 with an actual good bolt gun shooter. Let's do it. You're obviously a very skilled bolt gun shooter and you managed, but I mean, you were, were definitely slower. I know that with that, uh, the last shot, for example, on the BRX one, you had like two seconds and you, uh, you know, you measured it up I, and you I, took I the shot. I knew I had plenty of time. And even with this one, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. The side picture is different when you are basically engaging the target. So it's uh, a little bit less stressful than the bolt action, the BRX. How long have you had this rifle? Uh, who? Five years? You've had this for five years. This is twice the price, if not more, three times the yeah, price. Yeah, no, I think twice. Yeah, twice yeah, is correct. Two, three times the, yeah. the price. Same glass, more or less. Yeah. Um, let's see. This is really good shooting. This one, everything on the nine is good. Then I, that's what I say. I mean, this trigger helps me, but mm. we're talking about a twice of the price. And with a gun that you've had for five years now, you're a lot more familiar with that, with the Saco, than with the BRX-1. Um, now, for Ryan and I, that was my first time ever shooting a Saco, and that's certainly the first time I've ever shot a bolt action, like, under time pressure like that. Um, you know, it wasn't even close. Ryan and I were not even close. So, for us, that, that's an even bigger difference uh, than for you. Well, we'll leave it to the people that are seeing the video to, to make their judgments. Yeah. But, you know, I like the aesthetics and the trigger of the bolt. Yeah. But on the other one, dude, I'm putting the rounds there for half the price. So, it's yeah. your choice. So, I mean, no wrong option, just pick one. BRX, the guy in the BRX one. Yeah. But I, I think that's a great way to conclude it. I mean, I, I think from a utility standpoint, especially if you're, you know, a novice to the bolt action world, like, you know, certainly Ryan and I are... I think the BRX1 is is probably the winner. I mean, aesthetically, of course, there's there's no comparison. No, they are very expensive. I mean, they're, they're, as I said before, I mean, the, the set of features that you get. Of course, you can buy whatever you want at the end of the day. But if I had to tell you, okay, buy one rifle where you can do pretty much everything, and you're gonna be happy with the accuracy, with the speed, and everything, go for a BRX. If you have plenty of money, then buy all the rifles you want and a BRX. <laughs> there it is.